Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And And this this is the Insider Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. Hiya, Cat. Hey. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, long weekend for you, I guess. Uh, yeah, uh, well, yeah, shoot. unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's, uh, Jason, one of Jason's grandparents passed this weekend, yes. so we were out of town tending to that. And that just, yeah, long weekend. So. Sad news. Yeah, you had to go to Portland there. Yeah, yeah a little yeah. bit of last minute travel involved and stuff right. and it was just you know you know how it goes long uh-huh. weekend lots of lots of feelings very tired so yeah, I'm guaranteed guaranteed yeah. well give my condolences to Jason for, me, for his grandma's for his loss there mm-hmm. that's always sad to lose a loved one and everything like that so yeah totally so. yeah so no kind of weekend you had there yeah we'll it was a long one yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know yeah. what I know you know how to how to fill us in on what's been going on so tell us how was your weekend <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm back doing the paper and everything like that, you know, starting to get out. I had my two weeks off or a week and a half or whatever the heck it was. And, yep. uh, yeah, I had to get back at it. So that's what I did this weekend. Got the paper working on it and then relaxed as much as I could, uh, you know, just to, yeah, watch the races and the games and all that good stuff this weekend. Okay. Actually, it was a relaxing weekend. I didn't go anywhere Saturday and Sunday. As oh. a matter of fact, yeah, I didn't do nothing. We, me and Junior just lazed around all weekend. It was pretty cool. PJs and all? Yeah, man, the whole mm-hmm. nine yard. Yeah, it was, it was comfies all the way. Yeah, yeah. So that's, <laughs> sounds great. <laughs> boring, but it was relaxing. So nice that's to do. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Then back at it again this week. So everything's getting going because we got yeah, I got to get the paper together so we can get it printed and get out there again for November and all that. Oh. So yeah, here Before we go. you know it, all of those <laughs> Halloween events will be over. We'll be getting into the Thanksgiving meals and yeah. all the other good stuff going on oh, in November. Yeah. Just say, yeah, there is a lot going on there too. Is. I mean, there's mm-hmm. so much because I'm, you know, I'm getting the paper together and I'm looking at it going, the stuff ain't ending. I mean, it's just indoors. Yeah. It's indoors now. It's all know, indoors. But it's happening mm-hmm. still. So mm-hmm. yeah. So, well, hey, I hope everybody got out there and had a good weekend, whatever you ended up doing, even if you didn't do nothing. But uh, yeah, it's always uh, nice. <laughs> but hope you all got out there and had some fun and uh, checked out what's going on. And uh, you know what? We're just going to dive right into it. No guests or anything this week. It's just us. So, just, yeah. uh, just music, music, music. Yeah, Starting yeah. things off with the music report. Let's look at what's going on in October here. Yeah. So Elk Valley Casino on the 26th, they're going to have a cosmic bingo night. And doors for that event open at 6 p.m. The games themselves start at 8. Pretty cool. Hey, Cisco, on the 26th, he'll be at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And on the 30th, he'll be at the Checkco Activity Center from 11 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. Yes, and Bloodline is going to be playing on the 25th at Inateca in Crescent City, starting at 8 o'clock. Yep, and Mike Powell, on the 27th, he'll be at Augustino's, 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. Mm-hmm. And Misty Mountain Brewing's got a lineup here, music there running from 6 to 8. On the 25th, it's going to be Lawn Goddard. On the 26th, two-time Nelson. On the 30th, they're going to be having Angelic Noise celebrating Misty Mountain Brewing's 10th anniversary. Yeehaw, 10 years already. My goodness. They've been with us that long, too, at the events and everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how time flies. Yeah, whew, I'm telling mm-hmm. you, we must have been having some fun. Mm-hmm. Hey, and Rogue Strings on the 26th, they'll be up at Gold Beach at the Sea Star Bar and Grill from 7.30 to 10.30. And then over at Anateca in Crescent City, once again, on the 25th, Bloodline is playing at 8. Yep, and that is it for the music that we got for October for here October. that we've got. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll be getting November's up here pretty soon this weekend coming up and everything. And so we'll have some more activity there. But if you're out there and you got a band or if you're a musician or whatever and you want to get your gig announced on the radio or in the inside of Southern Oregon, all you got to do is send it to me. The info to Captain Curry 541 at gmail.com, and I'll make it happen. So there you go. There you yeah. go. And then let's take a look at some events over at the Checo Library located at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. Let's start off with their weekly events, things that happen every week on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Right now they've got story time. That's stories, songs, and games for young children. And then at 1.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, they have a chair yoga class. This is a beginner's yoga class that focuses on seated positions. And then on Wednesdays at 1.30 p.m., they have after-school activities that features homework help, a creation station, and snacks for older kids and tweens. And then on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m., they've got another free chair yoga class. That's a beginner's yoga class, again, focusing on seated positions. 
And at four o'clock, they've got after school activities again. So four o'clock on Thursdays, they have homework help, STEM projects and games and snacks for older kids and tweens. And on 5.30 p.m. on Thursdays, they have an easy flow yoga class. This is a free yoga class for beginners that includes standing poses. Now, it is highly recommended that participants be able to comfortably get up and down from the floor to participate in that one. For more information about library (laughs) events and services, you can visit checkolibrary.org and check out their events calendar. You can give them a follow on Facebook or give them a call at 541-469-7738. But while I am thinking about it, coming up next week for the Halloween week there, they are going to be having a spooky story night. And that's on Wednesday at 5 p.m. That's for younger children and families. There's going to be uh, howlingly funny songs and stories and, oh, cool. and games and crafts and all that good stuff. And say kids can come in costume. They just got to be kid-friendly, non-messy costumes. But again, Wednesday at 5 o'clock, that's Wednesday the 30th, they have a spooky story night coming up. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, all right. David's Haunted Mansion is running every weekend until November 1st. Go see their new downtown location is at 1072 3rd Street in Crescent City for a fun night of screams and scares. They have a sensory walk formerly known as Small Scares. It will be open on all operating nights from 6 to 6.45 p.m. and tickets will be only available at the line at the door. Hey, and low sensory experience with no strobes, smoke, low volume. The house lights will be on with no actors. Perfect for looky loos and scaredy cats. Now, the big scares is a full sensory experience, and that's running nightly as well. Tickets are at the door. They have Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. The sensory walk is 6 to 6.45, and then the big scare starts from 7 to 10 p.m. They give three hours of that one, so there you go. All right, there you go. And the Checo Pelican Players are presenting a haunted house once again this year. The theme for this year is Paranormal. This year, the location is at 97900 Shopping Center Avenue. That's near the DMV. And the dates for that, it's already open, so it's running the 24th, 25th, 26th, and 27th, as well as Halloween night, the 31st, as well as the 1st and 2nd of November. And it's running from 7 to 10 p.m. nightly. Tickets are $15 for adults. Students can get in for $10, and again, they just note that their entrance is next to the DMV. Yeah. That was for the last two. <laughs> was that for the scares or for the DMV? <laughs> yeah. Oh, both. Yes, mm-hmm. there you go. Students. Yes, it could be that way. Hey, Nature's Coastal Holiday is inviting the public to come help and string the joy for this year's Festival of Lights at Azalea Park. This is happening October 26th, coming up soon here, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Bring your family, your friends, neighbors, and even the family dog to help string the holiday lights. So that's coming up this yeah, weekend. That's free Halloween. Right along. Yeah, here yeah. we go. Mm-hmm. Flying right along. All right, now it's time for Quotes from Famous People with Cousin Bruce. Hey, here are a few quotes from India leader and humanitarian Mahatma Gandhi. He was born October 2nd, 1869. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. First they ignore you, then they laugh at you, then they fight you. Then you win. Happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony and last but not least, he says, an eye for an eye only ends up making the whole world blind. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this week's quotes from humanitarian Mahatma Gandhi with Cousin Bruce. Till next week, have a great one. <laughs> hey, my fingers just do yeah, the that, walking. I that's never That's a classic. <laughs> yeah, I know. No. I remember, I think I had a, an English teacher in the eighth grade who always had like a quote of the week up on the board. And uh-huh. that was like one of the first ones that started the school year, eighth grade. It's always stuck with me. It was uh, oh, with... for an eye makes the whole world blind. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Sorry. All right. It's hey, a... fun announcement here for the Rocky Horror Picture Show screening that's happening Ooh. at Checo Brewing on the 26th. So we have some important news. If you were hoping to get tickets, it's sold out. So if you uh, want to see if there's any overflow tickets left or if you're wondering if somebody might have canceled or something, you can get in touch with Southern Oregon Coast Pride and they can be found on Facebook or Instagram. This was for a special screening of Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a one night only event that starts at 9 p.m. on the 26th. But again, it's sold out. So if you want to see about overflow tickets, you'll have to reach out to them directly. And for this event, if you're preparing to go, they sell prop bags at the door. 
Very cool. Oh, yeah. hey, I've kind of figured that thing was out. We done promoted too much of it. No, I know, right? We just we just we promoted too much. <laughs> they're got it out. they're no. suffering from their own success. <laughs> <laughs> what? No space? I know, right? <laughs> and next year, do it twice. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah. This one came in late on me, but I got it on the phone. Brookings Elks number 1934 at Emblem Club 263 are having a Halloween kids party October 26, 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. They got games, costume, parade, contests, and refreshments. Costume contest is at 2 p.m. Age group are 0 to 2, 3 to 5, 6 to 8, 10 to 12, and 13 to 15. So that's for the costume contest, different levels. That's very cool. And this is a 800 Elk Drive and 541-469-2169. And they say it's open to the public. So that's there always good. There go. So there we go. Halloween Kids Party. If you can't go to the Rocky Horror Picture Show, there you go. There we go. We got back up. <laughs> hey, Legends Arcade is presenting a Halloween party on the 26th here, uh, 5 p.m. 11 p.m. They say come on down to the party at Legends Arcade for an all-ages Halloween party. And I'm sure it's like cosplay and dress up and all that good stuff oh, because sure. it's Legends Arcade for and, crying out loud. And it's Halloween. And <laughs> yeah, and it's Halloween. Bam. All right. And more Halloween fun coming down the pipeline here. Curry County Chamber of Commerce is presenting their Curry County Candy Map. And they're inviting you to join in on the small business candy map fun. So it sounds like there's still time to sign up. The Curry County Chamber of Commerce is thrilled to announce their Halloween candy map event in collaboration with local small businesses. On Thursday, October 31st, they'll be handing out Halloween candy and celebrating in style. And they're telling all small businesses in Curry County, it's your chance to be part of the Halloween magic. You can get your business on the Halloween map and join the festivities. They're encouraging folks to host a sale, organize an open house, be creative and have fun, maybe serve some refreshments, and help make this Halloween unforgettable for the whole community. Um, They're telling folks not to miss out on this fantastic opportunity to showcase their business and connect with local customers. So if you want to get on that candy map, you can contact the Chamber of Commerce at Curry County Chamber of Commerce at gmail.com. And you can also check out the Chamber of Commerce website if you want to check out who's participating in the candy map. They can't wait to see all the spooky and fun ways local businesses will celebrate. Yeah, sounds like fun. They did it last year there. Michelle did, and it was like a success. So that was very nice. Mm-hmm. Very cool. That's always a good thing. Mm-hmm. Hey, and in Crescent City, the CHPs are having their sixth annual trunk or treat. This is at the CHP parking lot at 1630 Summer Lane. This will be happening on the 31st, Halloween, at 5.30 p.m. to 7.30 p.m. A fun and secure setting to trick-or-treat. To reserve a space, questions, or for candy donations, you can call Pete Gonzalez at 707-218-2000. All right. I wonder if everybody's going to hear that no- noise going on in eh, the background. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> if you do, they're working upstairs. So, hey, sorry, pardon that, you know. It was in rhythm for a little while there. For a minute there, yeah. <laughs> it's maddeningly so. Hey, now it's time for a bit of real history with Bushwhacker Bruce. Oh, right. Hello, Kat. For this week, Bushwhacker's taking a break. And I thought that I'd do this week's real bit of weird history. Because it's kind of spooky. Did you know that a tourist mysteriously got a photo of a ghost at the famous Stanley Hotel? It's true, and here's the story. The Stanley Hotel in Estes Park, Colorado, has been around for more than a hundred years, and was built as a posh getaway for the wealthy seeking solitude in the mountains. It was where famed author Stephen King spent the night and was inspired to write the book The Shining. Given its history, it should come as no surprise that many visitors report strange happenings. Aware of the ghostly rumors, Texas resident Henry Howe booked a last-minute getaway in April of 2016 to check it out. Well, after arriving, Yao had dinner, then wandered around the Stanley to take photos. Stopping at the staircase, he waited for people to clear the area. Then he took a picture, thinking nothing of it. Well, later that night, however... Yarl fell seriously ill. He felt really sick. He had the shivers and felt like something was really wrong. Well, his companion suggested he go to the emergency room, but Yarl refused. Well, on the trip home, Yarl began swiping through the photos he'd taken when he discovered what he said was a really, really strange image of someone standing on the stairs, except no one had been there. The next day, he posted the photo on Instagram, half-joking that he'd captured a ghost, and the world took notice. 
Almost overnight, Yao found himself in the limelight, with his ghost picture warranting attention from global media outlets and paranormal experts who wanted to examine the photo. Some experts say that there's two ghosts, and others said that the reason Yao got sick was because the ghost was trying to materialize, taking the energy out of him. Well, at least you didn't see the twin girls in the hall. Well, if you enjoyed this bit of spooky history with yours truly, BK. Until next time, keep it real. Oh my God! But keep it scoopy, or scoopy, or too spooky. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Moving right along here, the <laughs> Curry County is presenting a Halloween block walk at the courthouse, and that's candy being handed out by each county department located in the courthouse on the 31st of October, Halloween, from 3 to 5 p.m. And they do note that in the event of bad weather, the candy will be handed out in the annex hallway. Oh, yeah, because the bad weather is coming, that's for that sure. Is, oh, yeah. my goodness, I've seen it. And the, whoo, man, the weather report is looking rainy. Hmm. Yeah. Hey, Coastal Home Health and Hotspots is presenting a murder mystery dinner at the Coastal Saloon Fundraiser. This is happening on November 1st, 259th Street in Crescent City at 5.30. And then on the 2nd of November, it'll be at the 8.30 Railroad Street in Brookings at 5.30. Saddle up your Wild West attire partners and get ready to dig into a feast with a choice between prime rib or veggie lasagna. It's 75 bucks a head and for the fabulous 21 and over crowd. For tickets, you can go online to coastalhhh.org slash dinner, or you can call Tony at 541-469-0405, extension 249. That's mm-hmm. 541-469-0405, extension 249. All right. It's nice to see more dinner theater happening in the community. Yeah, isn't that cool? Well, yeah. it's Coastal Home and Health yeah. Hospice doing a groovy thing, too, there um, at their places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Very fun. All right. Hey, there's a Dia de los Muertos celebration happening in Coos and Curry counties this year. On Friday, November 1st from 5 to 7, organizations from across the region will host a community-wide event at the Coos Bay Public Library to honor and celebrate Dia de los Muertos. The following day, Saturday, November 2nd from 5 to 7, the celebration is going to continue at the Checo Activity Center in Brookings. This free event will feature live mariachi music from the Mariachi Monumental of Oregon, as well as delicious food, crafts, face painting, and a loteria game. They will also have an altar and invite community members to bring photos of deceased loved ones to add to the altar. Join them for an evening of cultural connections and celebration. As part of the celebration, Mariachi Monumental, directed by Arturo Zafala, will perform. Based in Eugene, this group has been showcasing the best in musicianship since 2012, with a wide repertoire of traditional Mexican music. They'll play two 45-minute sets, adding a vibrant musical element to the event. Hey, you know what? Is, what a quinky dinky, too. The, the yeah. Junior picked the movie to watch this weekend. One of them was Coco. Nice. Disney's Coco. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, and it's... Dia, yeah, yeah, Dia de yeah. Muertes. I've yeah. never seen it, and I've been told I'm missing out. <laughs> it is it looks really super cute. It was really a good movie. It was well done and everything like that. And they cover all that and all the bases. And mm-hmm. yes, the pictures are important that they go up there. In fact, mm-hmm. according to the movie, you know the, the way they do it. If the pictures aren't up there, that means you forgot about your love. That means nobody's thinking about you. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And you mm-hmm. disappear. You know, and it's right. like, oh wait, hey. hey. Yeah, so everybody wants to have their picture up on. That's what that's all about. Gotcha. They'll bring a picture and put it up on the. Cool. Uh, there you on go. The th- on the, uh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? All right. Yeah. Hey, Del Norte High School Cornhole Tournament going on at the DNHS High Small Gym. This is happening on November 2nd, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. They ask for the public to join them as they host their first cornhole tournament, where cornhole enthusiasts and amateurs can come together to enjoy a day of friendly competition. To sign up or for more information, you can go to the Hmong Association of Crescent City Facebook page. That's H-M-O-N-G Association. Yeah. They're doing a lot of stuff down there. They're getting that association is doing a lot. Of oh, yeah. It's a very that. active community down yes, there. Yes, they really are. nice. Yeah. Yeah, very cool. All right. The Curry Public Library located in Gold Beach is hosting a monthly event called Memory Cafe Curry. And Memory Cafe Curry meets the third Wednesday of every month from 10.30 a.m. to noon, and that's at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. To register for the program, they ask that you email memorycafe at cplib.net or call 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss as well as their care partners. 
Care partners may include, but are not limited to, spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in their same situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. Yes, indeedy. Hey, and then KCIW is having the Soapbox series going on still. Uh, KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called KCIW's Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules, however. Of course, no cussing, no slattering, and no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record it. Get it off their chest. There you go. Okay. And then game nights at the Whimsical Griffin are ongoing at 615 Checo Avenue near the Redwood Theater. They happen on Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 to 9 p.m. and feature games like Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and, of course, board games. Yeah. Hey, and Meals on Wheels, volunteers are needed. If you'd like to do something that'll make you and those you help very happy, if you'd like to do something to help give back to the community you love, if you would like to help out your fellow human beings, then Meals on Wheels is looking for you. Hey, by delivering a hot meal to those who are home-ridden, you are not only help someone who is hungry, but you also bring a bit of kindness into their lives, a friendly face for them to see every day, and social contact they may not have otherwise. There are three routes that deliver hot meals to about 60 seniors on a daily basis. Each route takes about one and a half hours. You can volunteer by the day, the week, bi-weekly, bi-monthly, even if it is just one day a week, one day a month, whatever works for you. Every little bit helps. If you're interested in helping in this great cause for the community, you can contact Meals on Wheels Coordinator, Debbie, at 714-423-9797. I hope that people are hearing out there and this is helping out, too, on that oh, one. Yeah. That's a really good cause. and. Mm-hmm. They need some help. And yeah. this is a time of year where they're going to start needing even more help for sure. Absolutely, All right. yeah. All right, we've got a PSA here for the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America. They're scouting for new troop members, and boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts as well as adults who are interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from fifth grade to age 17. Adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and are willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. Scouts meet at Scout Hall from 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night, except for holidays. You're invited to meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can help you achieve. Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. And to get in touch with the Scoutmasters, Troop 32 Scoutmaster is Mark Haglin. You can call him at 541 541- 661-2749. Or to get in touch with Troop 4032 Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson, you call 707-951-3647. Yeah, there's another one I hope we're helping out there. Yeah, it's, hey, that's a good cause. Hey, mm-hmm. Junior's got, what is he? It's close. The, right? Yeah, yeah, it's oh. fourth grade. He, they said fifth grade he can go. Yeah. So next year he's going to, yeah. me and him are going to do I it. I really too. hope they get interest for Cub Scouts again soon. Cause, I would really have yeah, loved, loved him to you know, catch my that. My brother was a huge part of, he went, well, he went through all of Scouts. But yeah, Cub Scouts was especially huge when he was uh, when he was a kid. And it was it was nice for him. My, yeah. my parents were den mother and den father, actually, for the Cub yeah, Scouts. Yeah, my mom was a den mother. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was very cool. But mm-hmm. yeah, I wish they would get that too. But mm-hmm. haven't heard nothing yet or seen anything. So mm-hmm. but hopefully the cause is going out there though. Mm-hmm. Hey, they got the Queers and Allies Brookings get-together. This is at the Checkco Library Forest Room, third Saturday of the month from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. This is ages 9 through 19, and it's hosted by Southern Oregon Coast Pride. I believe that's still going on because yeah. I uh, saw something online yesterday. Yep, yep, that's the monthly get-together that they do okay. for, uh, for tweens and teens. All right, cool. community kitchen schedule. We've got time for that on Mondays at St. Timothy's. It happens from noon to 1, as well as Tuesdays at St. Tim's from noon to 1. On Wednesdays, it's at Star of the Sea Catholic Church at noon. On Thursdays, it's at the Presbyterian Church at noon. On Fridays, at the Lutheran Church again at noon. Then on Saturdays, the first, third, and fifth Saturday, it's at St. Tim's from noon to one. On the second and fourth Saturdays, it's at the Church of the Nazarene from noon to one. And on Sundays, St. Timothy's hosts an early dinner from three to four. And you can also find the community kitchen schedule in full at kciw.org. 
And uh, yeah, let's so, see, so. since we've got some time and November is fast approaching, I yes, can give so, folks yeah. some more information. I was hoping you would. <laughs> about the upcoming Three Penny Theater co-production, Sylvia by A.R. Gurney. So that's going to be happening November 8th through the 17th in Brookings. Performances are going to take place at the Brookings Event Center at 800 Checo Avenue, Unit B. That's next to Feather Your Nest and across the street from Les Schwab Tire Center in Brookings. And performances, Fridays and Saturdays, they start at 7 o'clock. Sundays, they start at 2 p.m. Doors open half hour before the start of each performance. And for information about Sylvia, what's Sylvia all about? Well, Greg is a restless empty nester tired of his job in finance, looking for meaning in his life. Sylvia is an exuberant labradoodle astray in Central Park looking for a new home. When they meet, it's love at first sight. But his wife, Kate, a busy rising star in the public school system, is looking forward to some independence now that the kids are gone and is less than thrilled by the clever and coquettish canine who slobbers, sits on her couch, and distracts Greg from their marriage. Sylvia exerts such a charismatic pull that Kate's friends are appalled, the marriage counselor advocates divorce, and even Greg's new dog owner friend warns him of the splintering effect a dog can have on the relationship between husband and wife. It is only when Greg is prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice that Kate is able to see Sylvia not as a threat, but as a new member of her family. A.R. Gurney's Sylvia is a smart, silly, sophisticated, and occasionally salty comedy about relationships, nature, and growing older. And tickets for that are $15. There's discounts for students, seniors, and veterans. Tickets can be bought in advance at threepennytheater.com or at the door on the day of performance. And if you have any questions or need to get in touch, you can email contact at threepennytheater.com, find them on Facebook or Instagram, or call 541-251-0640. Now, so is this the human being the character of the dog? or, or? A human plays the dog. The, okay, so this is one of those. I, and, I love it. I love and it. And full disclosure, I'm the dog. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> So, Sweet. You get the little outfit and everything. I, I get a whole little outfit and stuff. <laughs> um, right yep. I've got some a really great set of knee pads, okay. actually, for all of the running around and jumping and, like, sitting and standing and everything that I have to do. And oh, I get to run around all over the place, bark, yell at a cat, like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> do all the good and stuff. And do little comments do. on the side that you know, dogs yeah. aren't able to do in real life. <laughs> I know. Yes. Yes. Awesome. And contribute to the conversation in a way that they can't really do lacking vocal cords. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. The lactic yeah. uh-huh. speak, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So November 8th through 17th. Oh, that sounds like fun. Mm-hmm. Sounds like a good time. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, we got her in there. Everything all done. <laughs> so <laughs> let's time to close out this week's show. Before we close, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. And I want to thank you all for tuning in to this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can catch all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report, by going to kciw.org. And while you're there, hey, check out the live streaming as well. Hey, until next week, this is Cousin Bruce. And I'm Kat Liddell. Yeah, we are signing off. Please support local businesses, keep it real, and spread the love and the peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll we'll see see you out there. there. Bam. Bam! Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.